All right, AMC and GameStop shares are falling today and much, much more, guys. So make sure you guys watch this video all the way to the end so you don't miss out on any information. I don't think you want to miss this. Before the video starts, I would like to say that I'm not a financial advisor. Without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Starting off with why AMC and GameStop shares are falling today, but Sundial Growers is rising. What happened? Leading meme stocks were taking investors down more than a notch or two Tuesday as AMC holders and GameStop holders were falling by 5.6% and 4.6% respectively headed into noontime trading. On the other hand, Sundial Growers, after falling more than 2% to start the day, began rallying and managed to break through into positive territory. So what, it's an inauspicious start to the year for movie theater operator amc which lost 2.5 percent of its value yesterday and has lost nearly 10 percent over the past month while gamestop is down even more falling 15 percent since earlier december so yeah, they're making a comparison um sundial if i'm correct is a cannabis company if i'm if i remember correctly and amc and gamestop have been down and i'm, I'm pretty sure they're talking about what's going on you guys comment down below what you think about this we're gonna get more into it sundial growers have been a surprise to a lot of people with an 11 percent gain over the last month but it's but with this stock it still is trading well below one dollar a share and having lost over 85 percent of its value from the peaks reached a year ago it's hardly a picture of strength now what amc is still hoping the return of amc movie theater goers counting on their occasional release potential of blockbusters to draw people in while the latest release of the spider-man franchise saw massive crowds turn out for its debt it's been it's been a hit or miss with most of the other films gamestop is trying to engineer its own turnaround but by keeping mom on exactly how it's how it's going to achieve that it has sustained a cloud of doubt but sundial investors view its pending acquisition of of alcana a canadian liquor store chain that is also the majority shareholder in its major canadian cannabis retailer as the charge that jump starts its recovery yet even for such a low price stock it carries a high value it carries a much higher valuation than many other better positioned marijuana stocks so yeah guys they're basically making a comparison between amc and gamestop and then from correct these two cannabis companies and i don't know what's going on but i still have high hopes and if you're an amc holder comment down below if this is just a bunch of stuff to throw apes off their that senses and everything guys but i think that but i think that amc has a long way to go and i think these guys are just i don't know i think something's just going on with them but yeah for the most part i think that everything is going to be just fine and we should be good we also have this right here from reddit and it's a post from trade trades the whole stock market is talking crap about today amc is an exception and it really doesn't help that it's quite blatantly abused and manipulated by high frequent trading and amc has been getting manipulated but i'm pretty sure if you clicked on this video and you see it and everything then you know what's going on but amc is getting manipulated and trey is not having any of it before we go on to the next part if you guys do enjoy videos like this and you want more content like this make sure you subscribe to my channel leave a like comment down below if you hold any shares in amc or gamestop and my goal is to make quick digestible content for people to enjoy so yeah if you want content like this please do consider subscribing if you learned anything quick and fast throughout this video and i do breakdowns and i make it digestible for people to entertain but with that being said let's get on with the rest of the video we also have another reddit post hedge funds were like nothing better than to bury this it has over four thousand here meanwhile uh, only 312 retweets 500 hearts their increased exposure their increased exposure by retweeting and hearting please be on both platforms until mo ass and basically this is a tweet that i was telling you guys about a while back that these guys are absolutely defensive they admitted to illegal stuff so you guys should really make sure you watch out for watch out for these guys he's the ceo of citadel who's lied under oath again right i heard plenty of ken of g in the database in chicago who lied under the oath and may have stolen trillion or trillions of dollars from other ordinary people and right here basically i'll have this link down below in the description if you guys want to do a read about this this guy is basically exposing kenneth g for a line under oath and a whole bunch of other shady things but it's been proven before and everything but without further ado guys 
my name is Tesk, and I've been here to inform you guys with the news and everything and making it quick and short and easy for you to digest. But if you want more videos like this, and if you're an AMC shareholder, and if you learned anything new, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. All right, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out more videos that I have linked up on screen through this playlist. Click that playlist so you can watch all my other videos. All those videos have up-to-date news. Without further ado, I'm out. Take care, guys.